let's try this. That's not your bowl, boy. Yeah, we're gonna come at them live from the dog apartment. Can I sit where you're standing? You can go eat out of your other bowl. All right. Well, let me raise it up a little. Let me raise it up a little. Well, they can see you, but you know. All right, you gotta be good. Welcome to the channel. Rained all day again today, so we'll just do another coffee, but we're gonna do it in the dog apartment. I got two puppy dogs right here, yeah. Miss Lily, Mr. Waldo. They don't mind me coming in here. It's going down to 36 degrees tonight, Waldo. But you know what? Hey, you're on my microphone with your scruffiness. Now I gotta move it. Hang on, guys. How am I? You try to get stuff. See? We're doing we're doing a movie in here. Okay? You're already on the camera. Yeah, like I said, it rained all day long, and it came down this morning. I mean, it was coming down. But the good news, it stayed dry on the screen patio, didn't it? You guys didn't get no water at all in here, just a little bit by the door, but we can fix that. You're just too, too, uh, too grippy. I don't know, I can't find the word for that. Yeah, clingy. You're too clingy. You got green sideburns, Lily. What do you, you got? Green sideburns. And I had to cancel going to the rescue. I mean, it was coming down so hard. Nobody wants to drive in that. Nobody wants to stand out in that. So we're gonna have to do it next week. And I wanted to do it before Dogtober was over, but Mother Nature had other plans. Well, you are just crazy. So that's probably going to be put off till Wednesday. They are school teachers, so they can't do that. They can do it after 4.30 on a weekday, but I'm not going to be out driving in the dark. It's an hour from here, so, you know, chances are good it would be dark before I got home. I mean, I can do it, but it's not the best uh, ideal time to film either. Right, this is driving me nuts. Got to put it somewhere where he won't get to it and where you can't hear me going. <laughs> is Lily eating now? You guys, is that how you do? You go to one bowl, eat a little. Go to the other bowl, eat a little. That's how them goofballs outside do. Yeah. So, I mean, it's still drizzling right now. I can't be outside. So, I'm sure you're all tired of looking at the office. So, we come in here with the dogs. They enjoy my company. We try to do this at least once a day. Come in and spend some time with them, huh, boy? Did you? Would you like to say a few words? Yeah. What kind of things would you like to tell people? Hello. Can you say hello? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't really want to get you barking. Yeah, they have. Uh, water bowls they got a water bowl and a food bowl on their new raised bowls but they they're older they drink so much water it, i just brought their big old bowl back out here because they would only drink out of one of them the other one would stay full and they would only drink out of the one and then it would be empty within you know two hours so and they're healthy i've had them checked up they're healthy they just older they drink a lot of water it's probably a little dry in here. He just likes water. Now Lily's eating. But man, it's supposed to be 22 degrees. I believe Tuesday morning. Uh yeah. And then Wednesday morning like 25 and then the temperature goes back up. Uh but it's going to be like the low or the high is going to be like 50 tomorrow. And here comes another dose of rain, man. It just, it's been a non-stop wave of rain coming from Mexico 
straight through and then I mean it's moving slow I haven't seen the Sun since Friday well we needed it and it hasn't been too I mean other than this morning it really came down good but other than that it's just been a slow steady rain nothing bad and uh, I didn't get any water anywhere in there so I've got all them spots fixed uh, I knew that would fix this little peak up here didn't have anything over it so I flashed that real good and put that uh, treated 2 by 12 across so no water comes in between the two buildings now uh, if I could do the whole addition build all over again I would have never started it in spring I would be starting it about now because I just hurried up the, a lot of things and hurried up and got the walls up and I mean it's structurally sound it's been through a number of storms already but I could have done better I, I would have probably where this rough concrete in here is I would have probably poured uh, along the edges so I could lay those down really good but no water comes in from there so and this thing sets up real high you don't mind it, do you, Lily? No. So we'll just come in here and do a video. I need to look at your neck, boy. You're silly. They're in here. Oh, you guys are watching cats again. That cat's biting that girl's nose. Uh, that's as bad as Lily. Yeah, I just seen a video. Jeff was out with Lily's today. Yeah, but not this kind. Yeah, I told them don't bring none of them there. It took me five years to get rid of those uh, petunias or whatever they were in the front. I'd weed eat them down and they'd come back year after year. So I dug all the bulbs out. Not petunias. What am I trying to think of? D uh, daffodils. Oh, man. You, but they would come up, but there was never no flowers because they were old. So it was just old bulbs. Not one time did I ever have a daffodil flower on them. So... I'd weed eat them down, they'd come back. Finally, I dug them all up. I think I dug, I thought I dug them all up, but they still managed to show up. But they're not as many as there was. They were just, you know, if you're going to have flowers, have flowers on them, not just the leaves that come up. So I finally got all them dug up. I would like to get some nice shrubs and stuff planted here eventually. Yeah, before the place gets to looking, you know, like I've got it in my mind, it's probably gonna, I'm probably going to be too old. That's why I haven't planted any fruit trees or anything like that, you know. I'll be dead before they produce any fruit. Yeah, you can, there's some certain pears, you can, Bartlett pears, um, certain, certain fruits you might get some results out of, peaches. It's terrible to have peach trees here because when I worked at the ranch, that we'd always get a freeze right after, you know, and it'd ruin them. And so you hardly ever got a crop out of them. And then when they did, they weren't that good. And yeah, it's raining again. You went out there, big old chunk. Yeah, they like it when I come in here and sit with them. Well, we're not going to be in here that long. Got a couple more days of Dogtober, Waldo. What do you think of that? A couple more days? Yeah, and then I'm going to be burnt out. Yeah, burnt out. But I got to do that laser engraver uh, review. That's not going to be fun. Well, it'll be fun, but it, uh, there's a lot of requirements to that. So it's going to be a, an adventure. Yeah, I try not to get too many products because uh, just finding time to do the reviews and you got to study up on them, watch other videos, and learn about it. But you do get the stuff. But sometimes it's worth it. I love the e-bike. But boy, is it getting windy. Yeah, that cold front's coming in here. All right, you guys, let me grab you here. Oh! Well, I'm going to take them out of here, okay? All these people in your doghouse, it's getting crowded in here. Yeah. We're at 10 minutes with you guys. Yeah, what else do you got to tell them? 
You got anything you need to tell them? Huh? Tell them. Or you, you ain't camera shy. Yeah, I knew you had something to say. You got anything to say, Lily? That boy, he just, he, he wants to speak for you. Yeah? Okay, I'll tell him. You had your supper, you had your treat. You ain't getting another one. You're jealous because I was in there talking to them. Let's see if she'll come into this building back here. Here, yeah, I know you probably will, but I don't know if I don't know if Melly will. Come on. <laughs> He's goofier than they make him. You are silly. You are all full of energy because you've been stuck in one place. Can you come in here? Come on. Come on. You want to come in here? Come on. Come on. All you got to do is go up them steps. Come on. We can, there's a chair in here. We can sit. Come on. No moisture in here. That's cool. Come on, Tilly. Is she going to do it? Come on. Come on up in here. You can jump up in there. Come on. I seen you jump up on the deck. That's no higher than the deck. Come on in so I can shut the door. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's windy. Oh, there's the name of the paint. Pigou Green. Trim. White. Okay. Come on. Yeah, I've had a few people say paint, paint the shed the same color as the house. I don't want to. I like this color. Come on. Well, I'm going to shut the door. And I'm going to look at you through the window. Let's <laughs> see what she does. It doesn't. Yeah, it shuts good. <laughs> now I'll see if she'll come in. Come on. Can you come in here? Come on. Come on. It's warmer. Yeah, I bet if she comes in. She'll never want to leave. Come on. Come on. You can come in. She's just never been inside. You're just goofy. Look at her with your ear flipped up. Hello. Oh, you're goofy as they come. Where'd you go? <laughs> Why are you so silly? All right. I'm not going to let you in. <laughs> I never, I haven't seen her get this goofy. You got cabin fever, don't you? Oh, I'm gonna get you. She wants to play. Hang on. Oh. Where's your sister? Silly Melly. Oh, give me a toy. Give me a toy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they ain't never seen you this goofy. There's something on her back. Let me, oh, oh, let me see what that is. What do you got? Oh, you're goofy. Yeah, now you're starting to act like a beagle. Yeah, because beagles are goofy, especially that boy over there. Alright guys, I'll do anything for a video, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna get in, it's cold. Happy trails. Let's go see if we can find your sister. Silly too.
I'm just gonna call you both guys silly. Not Tilly, not Melly, just silly. You are full of it. It's wet, my slippers are getting wet. Well, I don't even know where she is. Where's she at? Where you at, Melly? Where is that goofy girl? She probably went under that shed. She goes under there when the rains and stuff. I don't know where she goes. 